Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the announcement that I want to make in this video is that I am conducting a self makeup class on the 14th of August which falls on a Sunday so that it's easier for everyone to join. I've been getting a lot of inquiries for self makeup class so that is the reason I planned this one for you all. If you're interested for the self makeup class, it's gonna be an in-depth makeup look that I'm gonna be creating with you all, with all the product details and with in-depth knowledge on how to apply these products, what kind of tools to use. And if you're interested to join the course, you can get in touch with me by sending me a WhatsApp text on the mentioned contact number below. Please only text me if you're willing to join for the makeup course. Please understand, don't come in and text me some other random thing. Only drop in your inquiries for the self makeup class. Any other random queries, I'm not even gonna respond. So please keep that in mind. So that was the announcement. In today's video, I have a huge, super, super huge Nykaa Hot Pink Sale Haul. I think this is the most amount of money that I spent on the Hot Pink Sale from Nykaa. I'm not proud of it, you guys. I actually did not intend to buy anything from this sale, but I ended up buying so many products, especially a lot of high-end and luxury brands. I've got some affordable products as well, but mostly it is high-end. All right, without me rambling too much, let's just get started with the video. I wanted to pick up certain base makeup products from certain high-end makeup brands, so I have quite a few of them in today's video. The first one being a luxurious brand, which is Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the very new, sort of like a fairly new product that I have launched in India which is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. It comes in this tube packaging like so. As usual, Charlotte Tilbury packaging is fabulous. They really give you that luxurious feeling. It's like this tube packaging with a nice little pump inside and I've got this in the shade 11 warm this is what I have on my skin right now and it's a perfect perfect match on my skin tone right now I have some tanning going on right now but uh, the shade matches me really really well at the moment and this foundation truly gives a beautiful skin effect for sure I mean you can actually see that it looks like a second layer of my skin but a better version a comfortable and thin formulation and has decent amount of coverage as well sort of reminded me of the glowish uh, skin tint from Huda Beauty but minus the shimmer particles in it and also a slightly better coverage I picked two products from Too Faced as well I think they had some 15 or 10 percent off uh, if you buy products above 3000 rupees so I picked up two products which are restock one is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme this is the original lip plumper I got this a while ago probably two years ago uh, this is the tinier version and this time I wanted to pick up a full size version because I'm almost done with this uh, tiny little thing and it lasted two years you guys that is a lot of time and I absolutely love it because I have thin lips and this one really really helps me in plumping my lips it has that mild uh, tingling sensation I can totally see a difference in my lip uh, size whenever I use this product then I got another product which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Pen Eyeliner I have completely gone through this entire eyeliner it's totally over there is nothing left and I absolutely love this eyeliner I think if I had to pick just one eyeliner out of my entire eyeliner collection I think this would be it it's such a beautiful fluidy formula but it is also super super intense and jet black plus the tip is super super thin so it allows you to create such a precise line on your upper lash line and it is not only that it is absolutely waterproof as well I use this all the time on my brides as well as on myself whenever I want to uh, go to a special occasion then comes a very new brand to me in the high-end category which is Ofra Cosmetics. I never have tried anything from Ofra. Uh, I have a couple of their items on my wish list from so many years now and I finally picked up this gorgeous set. So this is called their Day Dreams Pack and just look at the packaging. It's such a beautiful holographic packaging. This packaging really reminded me of the Jovita George brush set collection. It has a similar kind of a packaging. But inside the set, you get two mini highlighters and two mini liquid lipsticks. And this was also on a great offer. So one is their very famous Rodeo Drive highlighter and the other one is the shade Blissful. Rodeo Drive is more of a golden shade and Blissful is like a bronzy, coppery kind of a shade. And the size of these highlighters are definitely not bad. They 
really have quite a lot of product because you never really go through a highlighter like that you never really hit pan on them because you just need the tiniest amount of highlighter I did try them on my face the other day and I absolutely loved uh, the formula and the finish and everything it's buttery soft and super super finely milled and also intense just a tiny little touch of this highlighter goes a long long way also this really reminded me of the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter which is also a super super popular highlighter but I also felt that this is subtly very very subtly even more finely milled than the Becca Champagne Pop so this is the shade Rodeo Drive which is like a pale golden highlighter and here is the shade blissful which is more of a bronzy coppery kind of a tone as you can see they are super super intensely pigmented they feel buttery soft when i touch them the only one thing that kind of took me back was the shade because the shade representation on the nykaa website was a little bit more deeper and warmer and when i put the shade rodeo drive on my skin i felt like it looks more icy and ashy kind of a tone. It's not that flattering for dusky or deeper Indian skin tones in my opinion. But um, I might use it as a blush topper or a very very subtle highlight. That way I can tone down the ashiness and the lightness of the highlighter. In the same set you get these really cute tiny little liquid lipsticks. This is called their long lasting liquid lipstick. This is like a purpley mauve kind of shade which is called Unzipped. And the other one is called Sanibel, which is like a brownie nude kind of a color. Now, I'll be very honest, I was kind of disappointed with the size of these liquid lipsticks because in the past, I have tried mini liquid lipsticks from uh, Huda Beauty. They are a little bit bigger in size and they last really long as well. But these are super, super tiny, almost like a sample size lipsticks. Let me swatch these shades for you. So this is the shade Unzipped which is a gorgeous mauvey purpley kind of a tone and the formula feels a little bit of a thicker consistency and the other shade is called Sanibel which is like a brown nude I think this would be a better shade on my skin tone because it's got a lot of brown um, undertone and tint to it so it will suit me better I picked up a couple of items from MAC Cosmetics as well they had 15% off if you pick products worth 3500 or 4500 something like that i picked up a long pending wish list product of mine which is the pro longwear nourishing liquid foundation it comes in this tube packaging like so and i've got this in the shade nc45 so this is how the packaging looks like and let me just swatch it for you so this is nc45 from mac pro longwear i know it looks a little bit lighter in the swatch also, when I apply it freshly on my face, it looks like a slightly lighter shade, but this one oxidizes quite a bit. So after some time, it turns into a slightly darker shade. Let me just swatch the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation as well. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade 11 Warm. Can you see? This foundation shade from Charlotte Tilbury looks more neutral and a slightly deeper tone compared to the MAC Pro Longwear foundation. The MAC one is definitely more on the warmer side of things but saying that I tried this foundation yesterday and I did go through a lot of reviews before buying this foundation. I really really like the uh, finish and everything of this foundation considering that my skin is also oily. It's like a slightly thicker consistency but saying that it adds a lot of coverage to your base. I would say this falls right in between medium to full coverage and then if you build it up it gets to a full full coverage. Loved the finish of this foundation. It really made my skin look absolutely flawless and smooth and everything and also it is very very matte on the skin. So if you are only on the oily or combination skin type, you would like this foundation, not so much for dry skin types. I also tested this foundation for the waterproof test because this does claim that it is waterproof. So right before washing my makeup, I just poured some water and it is completely true. It is very much waterproof. Nothing moved with the water or anything and it just stayed intact. I had this product on my wish list for the longest time as well, which is the glow clay blush in the shade grand so this is how the blusher looks like adore the packaging this is a very different kind of a blush that i have ever tried because it's kind of like a cloudy cushiony formula 
So this is how the blush looks like. When you touch it, you can feel that the blusher is a little bit moist and it is very 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 silky smooth and soft the shade grand is like a soft peachy kind of a color the picture again from the nika website it looked like a slightly deeper shade but when it came in person it looks like a lighter shade of peach i absolutely loved 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 the finish of this blusher because it's not completely matte it's got a very 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 soft sheen to it it's not shimmer, it's just a very very soft veil of sheen, almost like a glowy blusher. It's very beautiful on the skin. The only complaint about this blusher is the shade because this shade kind of washes my skin out. It doesn't add a lot of color. The color is very 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 faint on my skin. It does not show up that well. So if you are on the duskier category, you should probably go for a shade which is deeper than the shade Grand because this definitely does not show up that much. But I could totally use this blusher as a blush topper because when I applied this blusher, this is what I have on my cheeks right now. This just makes this entire cheek area look absolutely teal and glowy. So I would probably use this as a blush topper like I said. And you don't even need a highlighter if you use this product. It's a beautiful, soft, dewy kind of a blusher. Along with these two makeup products, I got a full-sized MAC highlighter as a free as well as this sample-sized uh, Fix Plus setting spray. The highlighter which I got as a freebie is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade O Darling which is a very very popular shade of highlighter. It's a beautiful golden shade of highlighter. So it's gonna be super super amazing for Indian skin tones, especially for duskier skin tones. Just look at this, it looks absolutely beautiful. Although it looks like a beaming highlighter in the pan, you can control the amount of intensity that you want from this highlighter. I've just put that on the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my collarbone as well and I've applied a very very tiny amount so it's very subtle and subdued at the moment but you can also build it up. It's a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter. This one also has a lot of time for its expiry which is great because sometimes brands just throw away or push away um, products which are nearing their expiry as a freebie along with your purchase in times of these kind of sales on Nika but I'm glad that this one has a lot more duration to its expiry date and also it's a full size product so it was worth spending that money on MAC. So this is the Glow Play Blush in the shade Grand. As you can see it's a very very pale peachy kind of a color with a little bit of a sheen and here is the MAC extra dimension skin finish highlighter in the shade O oh Darling. It's a beautiful, very finely milled golden highlighter. Do you see that shade difference between this shade and these two shades? This is more golden and more warm. Hence, it suits my deeper complexion better than these two. Now, the matte sample that I got as a freebie is like a very, very tiny little sample size. So this would probably last for about three to four times not more than that. I'll probably add this in an upcoming giveaway. I know I need to conduct a giveaway as soon as possible. I have all the products ready but just give me some time. I'll definitely have a nice giveaway for you all. The next high-end product that I have is another product that I've been meaning to try out from a really really long time. I've also heard a lot of other YouTubers talk about this particular base product which is the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer. This is not a foundation or anything, it's just a tinted moisturizer with a little bit of a tint to it. I've got this in the shade Tan, which is the deepest shade available. There is no further deeper shade available in this particular range, which is sad. So again, this comes in this tube packaging and let me just swatch it along with these two foundations. This is the shade Tan from Smashbox. Again, the shade Tan is a slightly lighter shade on my complexion but because it's a skin tint, it kind of adjusts to my skin tone somehow. It doesn't have a lot of coverage and has a little bit of a warmth to it so it kind of works on my skin tone and after I apply the rest of the makeup products on my face, the shade looks absolutely fine. The formula is super super runny, liquidy and very very moisturizing. I don't think this would be more ideal for oily or combination skin types. This would be a better formula for normal to drier skin types. Or probably I would absolutely love to use this uh, particular base makeup product during winters. But it's a really good one, I'm not complaining though. This is a tinted moisturizer, right? So it has very minimal coverage. So it just 
evens out your complexion, doesn't have a lot of coverage. If you have a little bit of dark spot or discoloration on your skin, you have to go in with a little bit of a uh, concealer which matches your skin tone. Now, this looks absolutely natural on the skin, which I absolutely loved about this product. I wanted to pick up a nice luxurious perfume this time because I do not have any luxurious perfume in my collection. So I picked up this Versace Crystal Noir. So this is how the packaging looks like. Absolutely gorgeous, but it is super, super heavy. Especially the cap is super bulky for such a tiny little um, perfume bottle. So this one is an EDT. So just a couple of sprays does the job and it lasts so well. Let me just spray it a little bit. This is a very very unusual perfume scent for me because I don't have anything like this in my collection yet. I generally gravitate towards a warm a vanilla fragrance or a fruity or very sweet floral scents but this one is a little bit musky and woody and also it has a very tiny little tinge of sandalwood and amber in it which makes it super super unique and softer. I'm getting used to this perfume because it's something new that I'm trying out. I picked two products from Bath & Body Works as well. They had some really nice offer going on. So the first one is the Vanilla Cloud Hand Wash. I am a huge huge fan of their hand washes. They are absolutely delicious and they last so long as well. Just a tiny little um, foam of this goes a long long way. I already have another hand wash on my sink right now so I'll save up I'll save up this hand wash for later but but whatever I can sniff from the pump it smells absolutely delicious. You really want to eat it away. It's that delicious. They are worth trying out. They are not very drying as well. They are very moisturizing and makes your hands supple every time you wash your hands with them. Next one is also a favorite product of mine from Bath & Body Works which is their concentrated room spray. It's this tiny little spray bottle but they have some amazing fragrances with them. So this one is the raspberries and whipped vanilla fragrance. I already have tried some other variants in the past which I absolutely love and these are super super strong you guys. You just need a couple of sprays of this room spray in your room and fragrance lingers on for days and days. This variant raspberry is, let me just Spray a little bit. Ah, delicious. It just makes your entire room smell absolutely delicious. I typically spray these on my curtains and near my bedding. That way it will just hold on to the fabric and last longer. I've also got a little bit of skincare items that I bought during the hot pink sale. Which is two of these Mario Bidescu face masks. These were also on an amazing discount on the hot pink sale. So one is the brightening vitamin C face mask and the other one is a collagen face mask. I've already tried the vitamin C brightening face mask. It does work absolutely well. I have a little bit of a tan going on and this really, really helped me in removing and lightening up that tan. I could definitely see an improvement with this face mask. The other one is the super collagen mask which is supposed to give you a very plumpy and hydrated effect on your skin. I'm yet to try this one but I'm sure this is also a great face mask. Those are the two face masks that I picked up from a high-end brand. I also picked up two uh, hair tools. One is the Tangle Teaser Wet Deep Tangler. I don't have anything from Tangle Teaser as well. The reason I've tanned up a lot and I wanted to get my hands on this wet detangler is that I've been taking up swimming classes for the past 20 to 25 days so that's why I have a lot of tan going on and every day I need to wash my hair with water or with shampoo or something like that so I definitely need a detangler to detangle my hair so this was also on an amazing discount so I definitely wanted to pick this up it's a gorgeous pink toned detangler I have not used it yet I am very much looking forward to use this on my damp and wet hair so I will update you on that and the other one that I picked up is from Alan Truman and just look at this it looks absolutely cute. It has this turquoise teal kind of a thing at the back. The comb itself is like this peachy pink kind of a tone. So this is basically like a, a scalp massager whenever you use shampoo or something like that. I have another one from Amazon which I have in my shower right now. It's in a pink 
um, kind of a thing made up of silicone. It's the same exact thing, but this one has more bristles. I absolutely love that one as well. So I want to get another one just in case because I just wanted to try it out. Feels super, super soft. So I'm pretty sure you can use this on your scalp with ease and it won't damage your scalp. These silicone scalp massages really help in uh, cleaning your scalp so so well I definitely notice a big big difference as soon as I started using that particular uh, Scalp massager. So I'm really really looking forward to use this one as well now all the products that I'm going to show you Next are all from affordable brands So I picked up a few items from elf one is this liquid glitter eyeshadow and this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. This is a gorgeous glittery liquid eyeshadow in like a rose goldy shade but it's not very warm, it's kind of like a cool toned rose gold shade but it looks absolutely magical. Let me just show you. So this is the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the shade Flirty Birdie. Can you see that? It glistens so beautifully when come in contact with light. It's absolutely stunning. This is what I have on my eyes as a shimmer liner and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am in complete love with this product. I already have another shade in the same range in a golden shade i really like that one as well but this time i wanted to try out this rose goldish kind of a color then i also picked up this lip plumping gloss from elf this is in a darker nude kind of a color which is called mocha twist again this lip gloss was very very affordable too i think it was around 320 rupees or something like that so this is how it looks like it's a deeper shade of a nude color so that's the shade mocha twist it's a very pretty peachy brown kind of a lip gloss shade perfect for dusky and deeper indian skin tone so that is why i picked this one up the formula feels a little bit of a thicker consistency not the most um, comfortable or a runny consistency i really like the color so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna use it a lot in my upcoming looks I also picked up their Camo Concealer Sponge which I am an absolute huge fan of. I already have two of these sponges with me but for some reason I cannot really find them. I really don't know where they went. So I picked up another one. Oh yeah, Elf were having a buy two and get one offer in which I picked up these three products. The shape itself of this beauty blender is a very very unique one. It's like this uh, teardrop kind of a shape. And when you wet it, you guys, this is the most softest and bounciest uh, beauty blenders that you would ever try. It is very, 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 very soft. I love this beauty blender because it's got this um, pointy tip. So it just fits right on the under eyes, even if you want to blend your concealer or anything. Because with most of my beauty blenders, I am never really able to reach the under eyes properly. But this one blends my concealer so beautifully. It just fits on the nooks and corners of your skin and face and just blends products so beautifully. It does absorb a little extra of your product but I absolutely love this sponge. I picked up two of Maybelline's new launches in India which is their very 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 popular Sky High Mascara. Just look at the packaging you guys. It's a stunning stunning packaging. Absolutely feels luxurious and high end it's got sky high engraved on the packaging and it's a stunning rose gold color and this one is waterproof and this is how the wand looks like it's a slender fiber bristle wand now this is what i have on my um eyelashes right now as a mascara i mean i really cannot understand what the hype is about because it looks decent it adds a little bit of definition and length not so much of volume but loved by a lot of people so that's why i want to pick it up myself and see what the hype is about in fact i was waiting for this mascara to launch in india but i expected more from maybelline mascaras they make some amazing mascaras i'm a huge fan of their lash sensational mascara as well this one is also from the same lash sensational range and this is the sky high mascara i feel like the mars fabulash mascara that we get in india is a much better formula and a much better uh, mascara in my opinion add that nice volume and definition and all of that i don't know maybe this might get thicker in the upcoming weeks maybe i might like it i don't know. but so far i'm not that impressed with this formula i also picked up the lifter gloss from maybelline this is their 009 topaz shade it's a beautiful 
nudey peachy kind of a shade with a little bit of shimmer flex in them it's not that visible on the lips when you apply and this smells absolutely delicious you guys it smells like a uh, caramelly bakery kind of a scent i really want to eat it away it's that delicious so this is the shade so that's the shade topaz it doesn't have a lot of color it's almost like a clear gloss it's a very 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 subtle tint i have the same lip gloss on my lips right now on top of my lips as you can see it doesn't alter the color of my lipstick that much it's a very 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 subtle tint and it's a much more comfortable and thinner formula when compared to the elf lip gloss feels absolutely comfortable adds a lot of shine and glossiness and doesn't feel sticky at all which is amazing then i also got the revolution super fix super hold mixing spray this is a huge huge bottle really reminds me of the pack micro even the mister is super super fine which i was pleasantly surprised with let me just spray it a little bit it gives a beautiful matte finish and makes your makeup last very very long and this is a huge bottle so it's going to last you for really really long as well i picked up a couple of items from pack cosmetics as well because they were also on a 15% off which is a very very rare case from pack cosmetics on nika so i took the time and just splurged on these products The first one is this pack cream blusher and this is in the shade 02. It comes in this compact powder kind of a packaging and it's a beautiful peachy color. It's absolutely a beautiful creamy formula and blends very beautifully on the skin. I did apply this blusher underneath the powder blusher that I have right now and it was a dream to blend on the skin. The shade is okayish for duskier skin tones. It's not very washed out. The pigmentation is like a medium-ish kind of a coverage. It's not very intense again. So you may have to build it up if you like a little bit of an intense blush effect. It's a beautiful beautiful blusher formula. I also got my hands on the Pack Lash Fixer. This is in a black shade. I'm a huge fan of the clear um, eyelash adhesive from the same range. This one is a brush tip applicator which I'm a huge huge fan of in eyelash applicators. This time I want to pick up the black one because I do wear a lot of liner and everything with my false eyelash. looks great quality eyelash adhesive by the way on a budget so definitely recommend this one if you wear falsies a lot i also picked up two of these brushes from pack as well one is the pack 225 brush which is a dual ended brush so this one i mainly got for my concealer application and blending so it's got a dome shape so it's going to fit perfectly on the under eye and elsewhere on my face to blend it out and also on the other end you have this tiny little version of the same uh brush so this is going to be super convenient if you want to do a bit of uh spot concealing or even to contour your nose with any sort of liquid or cream product so that's why i got this the other one is the pack 245 which is a tapered powder brush so it's kind of flat from one side and fluffy from the other and it's got a tapered shape so again i got this particular brush to set my under eye area because it is tapered it's going to fit perfectly on the under eye and it's not very huge which i definitely wanted to set my under eyes and a little bit on the t zone or elsewhere on my face as well pack brushes are super super affordable and amazing in quality be it for beginners or people who are professional makeup artists i have this in this particular shape as well as a bigger shape with me and i absolutely love these powder puffs especially to bake your face and to set your face it somehow makes your skin look absolutely poreless and smooth and everything with every single powder that you use and it is super super soft and comfy and cushiony i just want to include another pizza puff applicator in my bridal kit as well so that's the reason i got this one if you enjoy a lot of baking on your skin you must try this product it is amazing i picked up a super super affordable lip product from blue heaven which is their hyper stay super matte bullet lipstick and this is in the shade molten latte which is like this beautiful browny nudey kind of a color so So that's the shade Molten Latte which is a stunning stunning color. I absolutely love this shade. It's a beautiful brown 
nude. The formula also feels super super nourishing and rich and well pigmented. Huge fan of the packaging. It's very classy and chic coming from blue heaven. Also it is color coded so if you have multiple shades in the same range you can identify the shades easily. Final lip product that I picked up is from Nykaa. This is their liquid lipstick in the shade Maharani which also I had my eyes on for a really really long time. So I finally picked it up. It's this very beautiful deep red shade. Let me just swatch it here. You see that it's a stunning deep red shade. These kind of uh, really deep rich red tones look amazing on dusky skin tone. So that is the reason I wanted to pick up this particular shade. And also it's very very hard to find such kind of deeper shades of red in affordable brands especially. So that's why I got this one. And I've tried this formula earlier. It's a really good long lasting formula. Very well pigmented too. Along with my entire purchase I also got this Revolution Bullet Lipstick as a freebie. This is their matte lipstick in the shade Cherry. So this is how the packaging looks like. It somehow reminds me a lot of the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. It's got this very soft matte texture going on and again it's a red shade. But this one is more of a brighter red like I mentioned. See that it's a little bit of a cool toned um, red shade. Again looks absolutely stunning and it's a matte finish. One final thing that I got is this Mad About Curls um, Curl Serum. What do you call this? Twister Definition Cream. So like I said, my hair is wet and damp every single day because of the swimming. So it's naturally wavy. It's not this straight. So I thought maybe why not just embrace my own hair texture. Again, I wanted a little bit of definition to my curls as well. So that's the reason I picked up this particular leave-in cream or leave-in serum for curly hair types. I'm yet to try this one out so I will update you on the same. So those were all of the items that I bought from the Nykaa Hot Pink Sale. It's a lot of items and I spent a lot of money which I shouldn't have but I ended up doing it anyway. So you guys that is the end of the haul. I will try to link every single product that I showed you in today's video in the description box as usual. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. Make sure that you hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. This is the take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!